Daytime sports talk is where it's at. And we got a lot of topics uh, to get to. It is a football Friday. Stanley Cup playoffs open tomorrow, of course. So I want to get Frenzy's thoughts on that. But we do have some breaking news from our friends in the NLL, the National Lacrosse League for the Saskatchewan Rush. The captain remains at the helm. Three-time NLL champion and two-time All-Pro Chris Corbeil will return to the Saskatchewan Rush for the 2020-21 season. Rush GM and head coach Derek Keenan announced a new one-year deal for the stellar defenseman on Friday. That is a day after the rush re-signed back-end pillar Kyle Rubish. So the rush are getting their club together. You were noticing the spots in the earlier commercial break, uh, Frenzy. Yeah. We are big supporters of the Saskatchewan Rush, and it is mutual. So uh, good news out of the NLL. By the way, the show is brought to you by Bidzy. Do you have a job and don't know who to contact? Bidzy it. Do you own a business and want to be alerted of nearby customers? Bidzy it. Big or small, Bidzy connects businesses and people to jobs. Post your project on Bidzy.com for free today. Now, Lynch, you had a lot of uh, questions, and one was on the Eskimos' name. And you said, what's the odds-on favorite for the new name? And I, I, you folks tell me, the viewers, I don't know that they have an odds-on favorite for the new name. And it's not like this com- caught them completely off guard. They obviously knew that this was coming. Yeah. Uh, sponsors withdrew their, their support. They didn't like, they wanted the name change. All of a sudden, they wanted the name change, and this time they gave in. They realized they had to do it. Such a big sponsor, and, and it, uh, you know, so one of those things. Um, you hear Trappers, it fits uh, Trappers. Uh, Empire, Empire fits in there pretty good. Empire. Empire. I think it does, but the president, what's his name, Chris Person? Yeah. Saying that it's not going to be the Empire because it has some negative connotation. I would hate to be naming a team right now. I really would. I'm saying to offend somebody. Hmm? I'm, green and, I'm saying greed and goal, but apparently not a chance. I think it's going to probably be Empire that will come down. To no, that. they said no. The president well, then if that's the said way, no. I have no idea what's going to be. People have said the Edmonton Eagles, which just, just doesn't really excite me. No. Um, I, Edmonton Coyotes. Former Edmonton. Eskimo players. And coaches I've seen on their social media are tweeting their Grey Cup rings with the EE logo saying the EE logo saying Edmonton Empire. They even believe that it should be the Empire. But what you got executives that are afraid of offending more people? What 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 is the negative commentation to Empire other than Star Wars and Darth Vader? Because it's mean. It's mean. Isn't that what you want? It's 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 all controlling. It's dominating. It's cruel. I don't know. There's the thinking these days is unreal. Well, and by the way, one of our viewers says, I really hope they go with the Edmonton Energy and get an energy company to sponsor and dump Bel Air Direct. That's the company that started all the noise for Edmonton. And I said to Lynch, you know, I went on a rant a few weeks ago saying you can't have sponsors dictate how you do business. No. And maybe I'm completely out to lunch. A lot of times I am. But what happens if Bel Air Direct, at the end of their current contract with the, es- with the Edmonton football team, Walks away. What if they say, oh, we can't afford it anymore. See ya. <laughs> Teams in you trouble. changed the name of the team. Teams in you can't leave. <laughs> As a matter trip. of fact, you should be paying triple the four times what you're paying because you changed name, the man. name of the team. Eskimos from 1950, 1949. I mean, it's been unbelievable. Never would think. There's no way I would have thought that name would change ever. Me either. I thought they were solid. But I thought the Washington Redskins were solid, too. I couldn't believe that. So if, if, if they can change it down there, I'm sure the Eskimos can. Uh, yeah, I hope it's a logical name that we accept, not a weird one. I'm afraid of that. Like name that the Seattle Seahawks got. Or Seattle the Kraken. The Kraken. What is it? The Seattle Kraken. The Seattle Kraken. <laughs> no, I was warned about it. And it was as I bad as I was, I was, I was warned. Uh, it just doesn't turn me on. Uh, well, Lauren, Lauren and Kamloops watching. He says, I'm sticking with the Edmonton Elk or Elks. That doesn't really blow my skirt up or peel my banana. But Jeff Kabilis watching, I believe he's in Winnipeg. He says the Edmonton Ewoks What are make they, this happen. What are Ewoks? Hang, uh, it's Star Wars. Watch it. In the third edition, The Empire Strikes Back. Probably my favorite one. Sherry Petty says the Edmonton Excellence. And Brian from the Lion's Den podcast says colonialism no. is the complaint Too big. of snowflakes for the name Empire. I think they should just call on the Empire, have a news conference, and say, if anybody has a problem with this, deal with it. They won't. And put on some shades. They won't. 
I think it's going to be one we haven't heard, and we're going to call it weird, and I don't like that. Because that's just really tearing things up. Everybody gets upset. And it, oh, a real controversy. By the way, uh, Nelson uh, Hakowicz, our VP of Sim Events, writes in and he says, Bel Air Direct and Boston Pizza, best pony up, and honestly should be funding the Eskimos' entire 2020 bubble season. That's what I'm saying. You have, the, you have your sponsors dictate how you do business, and then they can walk away at any time, and then what? But we do have sports back. And we'll be spending more time on NBA, NHL later on in hour two when we're live on Facebook. But I made this prediction, Lynch. Let's get off the name stuff. We, gosh knows we've heard enough about that in July. My BLP, my bold Lynch prediction, and you heard it from the couch earlier, is that Ottawa will write a check for a certain amount of money to the CFL, the 40-ish million that they want, 40-some million. The players are going to vote to play because they want to play. You just saw Greg Ellingson. He's ready to go. Yep. The players are going to play. But the owners are going to kibosh it because it's going to cost too much money. The Ottawa money isn't going to cover it all. Shoot, somebody told me it's going to cost a million dollars just to feed the players alone yeah. in meals. So I think the baton's going to be dropped just before they get to the finish line. That's my prediction, having talked with enough people. What do you, what do you think is going to happen? Yeah, I've thought an awful lot about it, as you know, and talked to a lot of people. I don't think it'll happen. I think they might go a long ways, just like you're saying there. Then in the last minute, drop the ball. Using the money thing, and I guess it's legitimately so, just don't have enough to run the thing properly, and they'll want to get going for next year, making a big play about next year being great. I mean, 21, which I don't I mean, that's... But it's a, good, it's a really good point, by the way, that just maybe scrapping this year and looking to 2021, but one of the viewers, Jeff Krieger, says it doesn't matter. What if they never play again? And that is a hell, heck of a point. And I, I don't really want to entertain Debbie Downers, but he's not being Debbie Downer. He's being realistic. I'm sitting there thinking, if this league folds, which today, one of the text messages I got from a league mover and shaker, the F word was used, fold, for the first time. And I'm thinking, the last play that we saw was the football hitting the crossbar in the West oh, Final. Oh, 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 that's right. That's cruel. But again. <laughs> I know. We, we, you and I drove by the stadium again yesterday, and I was crying as we went by it. Because yes, you were. I love that stadium. It's the best in Canada. It's one of the top ten best football stadiums in North America. We got it. We've used it for three years only. We've got to use it. That's what gets me. We, these guys have got to show us. The guys who are running the riders now have got to show well, it's us. It's not just them, Lynch, well, though. It's they, every team's yeah, in this. Yeah, but it's... they've got to be able to manipulate enough, help, fight, do whatever you have to do. To some way, get some kind of football there this year. You say six-game season, I'll take that. That's what it's going to be, if it's anything. Um, from Carlos Legena, one of our viewers in Indianapolis watching today, says, the longer this drags on, the more players are going to bail out. We've seen a number of them drop in the past month. People, myself included, thought deadline day was today. <laughs> we all did. Yeah. Well, what you thought was July 1st. Now we're into August and still having this conversation. Look, viewer takeover when we come back. Whatever you want. NHL playoffs tomorrow. NBA started last night. All kinds of topics on the table. We haven't even touched NFL, Lynch. That's right. You have a Tampa Bay story you want to get yeah. to. So that and more when we come back. You're watching the RP Show. Canada's daytime sports talk show continues after this. You're watching on Game Plus TV Network. Listening and watching around the world on the Rod Peterson Broadcasting Network. You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of the Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media. 